Hello everyone, my name is Misha van Dane and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the Adobe Media Encoder and how to create proxy files with it. Now let's first talk about the layout of the program a little bit. The top left panel is the queue panel. This is where all your uh, projects will be queued in before rendering. The left bottom panel is the one where your files will appear when they are encoding. The top right panel is a presets browser uh, when you don't want to fiddle around with the settings yourself choose one from here um, almost every device or output is in there so browse through them and maybe you'll find the settings that will fit your needs the bottom right panel is the watch folders panel this is where most of the magic will happen this will make your life easier let me show you how Right, we have here a little plus button. Press it, designate a folder. I designated one a while back for me, so I just put it there. It can be any folder, it doesn't really matter what. Click OK. Now, this is where you select the format you want to encode to. Select your format, put in your settings. I already made a custom preset for myself so I'm gonna select that these are settings feel free to copy them uh, this is what I use when I make proxy files doesn't really matter what settings you use just make sure they're low because uh, otherwise you'll defeat the purpose of creating proxy files once you make your settings click OK and the second one is pretty much the same so you don't need to touch that again the output folder is probably a folder you want to set because you don't want uh, your footage to be outputted the same location that you use your watch folder I usually do that because it's convenient but it all is up to you okay when you select that you have set up your watch folder now go back to your explorer here's the watch folder we created and here's some footage that you shot with your GoPro DSLR Sony cam whatever doesn't really matter what now when we look at this it's nice and high res and it's fairly good and it's all HD but if you have a whole timeline full of it it will become pretty heavy on your machine so to create the proxy files to replace them with just select them all and drop them into the watch folder now we go back to the media encoder and here you'll see all the movies getting queued up here into the media encoder it'll start encoding to smaller more user friendly files for your computer now this is gonna take a while it's recommended that you do this right after you got back from the shoot just drop the files in there and they're ready to go once they're ready uh, we'll come back here in just a few seconds and welcome back they're all done you can see that by a uh, little green check mark here. So let's go back to the Explorer. So go into your folder, go into output, and here you have them. And when we look at the footage now, you'll see it's really not that good quality. It's low res, easy for, com for your computer to handle. So, well, that's about basically it. Put this into the editor and uh, have smooth editing. Next tutorial we're going to talk about uh, how to implement those files into Adobe Premiere and make your editing time easy. See you next time!